Welcome back to more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We're on Season 5, Episode 19, and last time on, Ruby and Von Strucker died. Ruby absorbed 8% of the Gravitonium, went a little crazy. Yo-Yo ran in and slit her throat. Uh, but Von Strucker died because Ruby went like that. Squeeze, and all the juice came out of his head. So, that was kind of crazy. Talbot is no longer under Hydra control. Well, maybe slightly, but Coulson calmed him down a little and Mac Icered him. So Robin's not captured. She's still in the lighthouse. At the end of the episode, Hale somehow went back up to the Confederacy in space. She went back up there, told them that S.H.I.E.L.D. has the Gravitonium and now the aliens are gonna invade the lighthouse, most likely. That's where we're at. <laughs> That's a lot. We're in deep here. So. Let's hop into the episode, leave a like if you've been enjoying Shield on the channel, check out anything else if you want, subscribe if you want. We are about to hit 10,000 subscribers, which is a huge goal, so thank you for everyone that has subscribed so far. And yeah, let's hop into it. What? 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. Is that the coordinates of where the Confederacy are to teleport up to? You can slingshot the gravitonium at high velocity into the sun. <laughs> into the sun. Okay. As actually we are to contain an element that may cause the future destruction of the planet. We have to get Zephyr ready for space travel first. Can't like... They're gonna make the Zephyr too? Wouldn't they be afraid of aliens up in space? Intercepting the gravitonium going towards the sun and taking it. But I've been talking to Tony uh, Kane. What, my Tony? Candy man? He's arranged for Creel's treatment, and he says he could take care of Robin and Polly. I still don't trust him. He scares me. A gravity surge knocked everyone back and disrupted our equipment. Oh. She slipped away and they got knocked out. Okay. Quake Ruby and correct the earth. That shouldn't even be an issue. Speaking of cutthroat. All right. Let's get She's mad at so many people. Look, I did what I did. I'm not proud, but it was the right So many choice. people are mad at each other. You let your emotions get the best of you. It shouldn't have even uh, been. Uh, <laughs> gone, Ruby would be free. But this isn't about the decision, is it? This is about... I don't like fighting. I don't fight. <sighs> I made that decision, and I'll be making uh, the rest today. Okay. It's over. Go do your jobs. Duh, the family is fighting. And now she's going to go back and fight on a lemon in her bed. You would ask me if I'm okay? Not if I don't have to. Good. <laughs> then tell me what the Candyman's got. Thinks he found something connected to the Deathlock program. Gary. What? Could be a stretch, but they could keep Coulson alive. It's gonna be their fault. <laughs> Them doing this own this rogue secret mission right here. Oh gosh. Ah. Mm. Multiverse. Do you actually know what multiverse means? That every choice we make spins out a different timeline into the cosmos, and right now there are mm -hmm. infinite parallel universes. Not like I'm just gonna blink out of existence. I lived in one timeline, but now I live in this new one, and I think I'm gonna stay in the one with the sun and tacos and all mm -hmm. that. Because that's the multiverse, that's science. We won't know if we're successful at changing the future unless you blink out of existence. Uh, that would be, that's true. But would they f forget about him though, if that was true? Wait a second, I'm gonna say something. This episode feels like, like a, you know, like there was weak, a couple week break in between like there was a couple weeks of a break in between maybe infinity war came out right between these episodes i'm guessing did they talk multi they didn't talk any multiverse stuff in infinity war though but i know this is around the time infinity war would have happened and last episode ended with them saying an alien invasion i'm betting there was a couple week break here i don't know the characters look a slightly different like there was weeks in between even if they record at the same time, that that happens. Well, there would have been a snap, actually. I don't know. Make sure that gets to the Zephyr and what? No, okay. You know what? I think I might. Oh, <laughs> I carried this up around in my belt for years, okay? You, and didn't True. you guys make a pledge never to leave each other's side? You have to do that. You have to keep that pledge for the, you know, the good of humanity. Your humanity, you mean? 
Uh -huh. I appreciate how invested you are in our future, but for now, let's worry about the future of the planet. <laughs> Dang, I never really thought about that. Teak wouldn't exist if they did change the future. They better keep existing. I hope they don't change the future. I hope they just go into a new universe. You know, leave this one behind. Psh, we don't need these people. We tried. We can fix this. Phil. It's like a record that just keeps skipping in my head. The numbers. The numbers, Mason. I was I was with Robin. Okay. What do they mean? Calm down. Okay. But I was at the control box. Why? What was I doing there? Four three. Yeah. Point nine four six two. And that's where that's the lighthouse six. is. Point one one nine. Or where the Confederacy is, and he's getting a signal Phil, to them. Tell me that's not what I think it is. Our location. It is. Okay. Oh shoot. Oh, they're here. They're here. It's starting early. Aliens. Oh my gosh. Oh. New logo. That ship looked sick. That looks cooler than Thanos' ship. Oh, it's him. Yeah. <laughs> it appears you are experiencing an apocalypse level event. Uh huh. This guy again? Is the lighthouse gonna go flying off into space? In history is what this bunker was designed for. Mm-hmm. That actually is kind of reassuring. <laughs> Please go to the main computer terminal. Project Reclamation. If the White House is experiencing an extreme weather event. Press one. Agent Coulson, I can't silence the alarms. I hope if Alien Vision is one. Nuclear attack. Press two. Screw it. For an alien invasion. Wait. Alien invasion. You have selected nuclear attack. Oh my gosh, Coulson. Go back. Is there a back button? Always listen to the whole menu. Oh. Yeah. Wait, you can't go back? Wow, Colson, please. Colson. <laughs> oh, and due to a technical what would the malfunction, alien invasion the button do? Under nuclear attack, so we may be trapped inside for 15 years. Ish. <laughs> 15 years ish. Good luck. Your humanity's <laughs> Your survival. Uh. <laughs> Oh no. What? Alien invasion mode would have been so much better. <clears throat> oh. Hey. <laughs> I know this guy. I'm here for what was promised. The Gravitonium. Yeah, that's gonna be a hard pass. It was, there was no Maybe promise. I haven't realized it yet, but this bunker, it's apocalypse proof. It can withstand a nuclear blast. I think they're just gonna teleport yeah, in, aren't food, they? Water and air. Is that true? Not good food. And pretty soon the world's gonna realize there's this giant ship in its atmosphere. And I'm thinking in the current political climate, <laughs> yeah. it'll be long before you're blown out of the sky. The Avengers, they're coming. He's just gonna be right behind. He's right behind me, isn't he? No, he can't teleport in. We're all good. She said things. Yeah, and it's making you crazy. This whole future thing has got you all acting crazy. I don't wanna know. I'm just trying to fix the problems right in front of me. Not get my mind twisted trying to figure out what comes next. We already saw what comes next. Yeah, so you're willing to do anything no matter who it hurts. We've been through too much. We messed you up. Even look at Her arms are her reminder every day. Yeah. No, that's not what I meant. I wonder you're pulling away. You're pushing me away. You need to trust that I know what I'm doing. Please, Matt. You know me. You know I may run away, but I always come back to where I started. That's so true. I know. I just don't know if I'll be here when you do. Shoot. Guys, there's aliens invading. Come together. They're all getting pushed apart. I can't tell you if what you did was right or wrong. That's up to you to decide. But it doesn't just change you, it changes how people see you. Mm hmm And the only thing you can do is make peace with it. To be fair, back in season three, I mean, Coulson was putting Lincoln in a thermal vest that was gonna, like, explode him, you know? If his mind got taken over. Haven't we done worse? Ha like, haven't we done worse, right? Than going in and slitting someone's throat when they're pinning Fitz and Simmons up against a wall, choking Daisy, already crushed someone's head with her telekinesis hand haven't we done worse daisy's mission wasn't just about robin polly and creole she's following a lead 
Lead on what? A way to keep you alive. What? I don't want that. My I don't want that. No, 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 no. I killed Ruby for nothing. It didn't matter. It's all happening right now. Everything she told me. She who? This is how we lose. It's everyone's fault. It just happens. Sorry. That ship is sick. This guy looks like a son of bite. Colson is dying and we need to let him. I'm sorry, sir. I hated keeping this. I owe you so much. You're my family. No, you're wrong. Robin said Colson puts the pieces back together. Mm -hmm. And you're saying that we should have just left him to freeze to death in the middle of nowhere. I have to listen, May. The middle of nowhere. She was me. She's lived through this. The through middle the loop. of nowhere. Who knows how many times? Exactly. You don't know. Does he know they can teleport? They can go wherever they want. Yeah, okay, they can. Yeah, see, I, I thought of this 20 minutes ago. Oh my gosh. I need to be on the shield team. Come on, guys. Come on. Is he bringing the lemon? Where's the lemon? They're, they're coming in here. Oh no. Oh, here they come. Oh shoot. <laughs> Oh, they're not Cree though, right? They're not blue. I mean, they could make Cree can like make themselves blue and not blue. I don't even know. That is scary. That doesn't seem to work. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Ravengers. They're Remoras? The so they just take from others and, and wherever they go, darkness follows. Darkness? That's a little vague. Well, it's not the concept of darkness, it's literal darkness. It follows them because they're magic and they can see in the dark. Oh. And so it makes them kill us better with, with their claws. Those things, okay. You guys made a pledge not to leave each other's side, so I feel like you well, we don't really have much choice. You, get, you can get Daisy to give you back up. She's strong and she's protective. And she, we can't, we can't Daisy just quake us out of here? Why isn't she back yet? Ask me. Yeah, why may Guys, stop hiding from each other. Hiding things. Oh my gosh. Weird kid. Drew me a picture of a blue lady juggling someone's balls. Pretty sure they were her balls. <laughs> Anyway, that's still not explained. Why can't she do all that? You know why they call me the Candy Man? Because the Candy Man no. can. <laughs> Project oh. Deathlock had a lot of branches. It was a very complex web to untangle. A lot of promises were made, promises were Tight. broken. And, all right, short story long. It all goes back to this one Hydra dude named John Garrett. Yeah, I'm familiar. He was being kept alive by this secret sauce, uh -huh. all kinds yeah. of ingredients, called it centipede serum. Yeah. I think from the shape of it. Okay. That's that's the last one. You gotta put that on Colson. Garrett's cocktail had an extra healing component mm -hmm. that was designed and developed by the Nazis, so that's impossible to get. Nothing's impossible. It's one element. What is it? I have no idea. All I got was. Name some Probably creep blood it. stuff. And I can't find it on any map. <sighs> That's because it's not a place. Huh? What's happening? Speedy. Don't. <laughs> Speedy. Back up. Better yet, you know what you do? You get me a phone and I'll call in an airstrike. <laughs> There's no way to call out. Then I'll send up a smoke signal. What? I'm not Air Force anymore. I, I'll comply. I'll. That's a bad choice of words. <laughs> that's a bad choice of words. Cooperate. Yikes. Gemma. Gemma, do you copy? Which darkness. Know? Darkness follows. You don't need that. 
Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Dude, what were you doing way over there? They're animals. Where's that? Fire extinguisher. Okay, that works. Deke saved the day? Deke saved Fitz? Without you, there is no me. Yeah. Never been so happy to meet someone so self serving. <laughs> Anyone asks, we scared that thing off, okay? We'll make it to the armory and bring back what we can find. Thanks, Agent Kim. The team of us is going to take. Rest in peace, Agent Kim. And get one of the elevators moving. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, and uh, just so everybody's aware, I think these guys have tech that can shut down electricity like uh, an EMP. So, so elevators might not lights, be a good answers, idea. Walkies, they'll be useless. We need to see these things if we're going to stop them. Fire would work. Just, just try and find something combustible. Then let's light them up. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Do you got a flamethrower arm, Coulson? Because you should have one. That would be nice. You could use it to grill. Remember, inside voice tell, but you don't want to attract them. That's our exit. We're cut off. Come on, we can fight these remorons. Get these cuffs off. I can fix this. Coulson wants you safe, which means I do too. Come on. Isn't Coulson's arm going to malfunction and maybe yo-yos if they get near? Right? Isn't that going to happen? Sorry, Jim. I never should have left your sight. Wait, Deke, has he blinked out of existence? No, he's still here. <laughs> then we're good. Uh -huh. You heard him. They're coming after us. That's true. Davis, Piper, we're on point. It sucks because like some people are happy that nothing's changed. Like Deke's still here. Um, they're invincible or whatever. But like Yo-Yo knows her death is coming. That mistakes were made and all that, you know. Take the cuffs off. I, I can fix this. Just stay back. Big flammable red thing right there. Okay. I'd use that. Roll down the halls. Looks like you and I are the last line of defense. Simmons and Talbot. But you might need an escort. I think we can handle ourselves. How tanky are they? How about you can take their mask off? Right? Go. That mask has to be for like breathing. Go! Oh, they're scary. What are they shooting at? I can't see anything. We need recon. I just did. I couldn't see them, but I could feel them all around me. Weren't numbered. Huh. Stay behind me. Her arms aren't shutting off. Well, that makes two of you. That makes two of you. She. They were talking about Davis's cut earlier, but what? I guess because he survived all that stuff in season four. What are you doing? Do you know? What are you doing, buddy? No. Talbot. Oh, Talbot. I know it was nicer. There's not. It's not even plugged into anything. Is it still gonna? Do anything to you? Oh, the Gravitonium. It's still there. He knows what that machine will do. I guess, yeah, he was informed at Hydra about it. No, man. Is Talbot gonna crack the Earth? He's gonna get the Gravitonium? What? Really? That feels so forced and random, but like... It's unexpected, for sure. Not really like forced, but like Talbot, the Talbot I know against all the alien stuff, against everything like that, wouldn't do that. There has to be some of the Hydra in him still. Maybe that was his ultimate objective at the end of everything to get in the machine, but probably not. Like, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I like cocktail of potassium. He's changed. Sure. That's pretty cool. Science. Biatch. Don't worry, Gramps, if they want the Gravitonium. Gramps. Still calling him Gramps. Deke. Hug. Whatever happens next. Never call me Gramps again. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wow. I think this will work without electricity. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. 
I guess Yo-Yo's was already designed with that in mind. <laughs> Giving him the shotgun axe. It's gonna be okay, Talbot. People, this is it. Super soldier Talbot? <laughs> like what? Wait, I was saying I wish he was Red Hulk because he was like... That's gotta be Talbot. I was like, he reminds me of Thunderbolt Ross. You know, he just reminds me of him a lot. And he became Red Hulk. He's becoming a super soldier now? With gravity powers? Isn't he gonna go crazy? Or could he not go any more crazy? He doesn't seem that bad. Oh no. They're everywhere, just like I said! Just hold steady! Whoa. Oh, he's got Bobby's stuff. <laughs> Her batons. Aren't they electric? Aren't they gonna shut off? In the vents. Guys. You should have waited for the alien invasion mode. Okay, here they are. There was them at the door. Damn. They're, they're powerful, striking the door, making it move like that. Yeah, oh gosh. We don't have enough ammo to hold them off. Why are they so tanky? Whoa, shooting. Jeez. It seems really easy to see them, but it might just be the camera. <laughs> For them, it's probably much harder. Pitch black in there. What was that? Cause I'm like, why? They're just missing. Uh oh. Big man? Or Talbot? Oh, he walked into Talbot's room. Huh. <laughs> They're like, what? Look at him. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's such a sick shot. I did not expect this from Talbot. Not in a million years. Dude. I'm out! Me too! Look, man, this probably isn't the best it's time. Not. Give Mac the axe. He was gonna say I love you. <laughs> Waited Talbot. Oh, he can get knocked out so easily because of his Dang, his mark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's just gonna pick them all up and like explode them or something. <laughs> He's crazy, watch out. Yep. Bye bye. The Tony Jasm sings for mine! Ah, oh, this is what we needed in the moment. Oh! Oh my... Yeah, look away, you don't need to see this. Dude! Oh my gosh! This got violent! Talbot. Talbot! What? Oh, strong. You okay? You okay? Well, it looks like you gotta send Talbot into the sun. I don't know. <sighs> Is he gonna raise the lighthouse into there? Uh... Bro? Take me to your leader. <laughs> Smiling at Coulson as they rise up. <laughs> Congratulations, you have survived the nuclear apocalypse. The planet is safe again. <sighs> okay, dude. Perfect timing. Yo, what are you digging up? Is it the what, what, the grave of someone? Jai Yang? What? Oh. Is that what was in that was that's what was in Garrett? She could live forever. That makes sense. Bro, is she gonna be alive down there? Wait, I'm confused. How did she know? Was it a location that the dude showed Daisy? Or did she just know Chaying's blood or whatever? I don't know. Either way, she knew where where that was, but that that's inside of Garrett? Was inside of Garrett? So Chai Ying's blood or DNA was inside John Garrett. Okay. And yeah, she could only live because she was absorbing other people's life. So she's not going to be like alive underground. She's not going to have re regenerated probably. Unless she absorbed everyone in the graveyard somehow through the, the soil. And then she's, Daisy's going to find her mom alive down there. That'd be crazy. 
But, uh, yeah, huh. Coulson's gonna need a little bit of Jai Ying, a little bit of Daisy's mom in her, in him. That, that sounds weird, okay. Then he'll be more like her parent than ever before. That's kind of wholesome. Kind of wholesome. In some weird way. Man, what? <sighs> that Talbot stuff, wow. That happened fast. It did. Felt like there was almost no buildup to Talbot going in there and getting powers. Like, you could never see that coming. But he did say he could fix this over and over. So, he had to do whatever he had to do. That was fun. I liked the alien invasion. I liked them just teleporting down there. That's exactly what I thought they would do. And infiltrating the base. It was kind of creepy. The lights were going out. I liked that aspect of it. Can't really use technology around them. It's cool. Although, it would have felt even more stressful if Yo-Yo's arms didn't work and Coulson's one arm. So that would have been cool, but they thought of that. They thought ahead, and uh, their arms are better than I thought. Yeah, of course they thought of that because back in season four, episode three or whatever, when the blackout happened and Coulson's arm stopped working and was like attached to the steering wheel, um, they probably designed an arm after that that is like blackout proof. You know, can't believe I just mentioned Daisy's mom last episode when Daisy was getting choked. I was like, she's had that happen before by her mom, and then we're back to Jai Ying this episode. <laughs> They did that on purpose. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. So is Coulson going to become inhuman? Like, does that really count? If he gets Jiang's DNA or blood in him, will he be considered inhuman? Perhaps. Maybe. Not naturally born, but he is already an amalgamation of so many things. Cyborg, Kree blood, inhuman DNA soon. <sighs> Ghost Rider. Like, he's a lot. They should call him Amalgam. Is that or that sounds like it would already be a Marvel hero or something? Sounds kind of cool. Amalgam man. That's Coulson. Well, Talbot's powers right now are reminding me of Scarlet Witch. The way you can just like pick people up, destroy their corpses, you know, manipulate them. Probably destroy that whole alien ship above them. That's what right where he's floating up to. I don't know why he's bringing Coulson, but uh, hey, at least Coulson will have a fun story to tell. He's probably gonna say something like. I've always wanted to see something like this. Or make some kind of Star Wars reference while Talbot destroys everything. It's gonna happen next episode. I'm calling it. Um, but man, that him getting this powerful just makes me think that he's gonna die by the end of the season. You know, he's so powerful that I don't think Talbot's gonna survive. It's kind of like what happened in Secret Invasion with Amelia Clark's character. Like, she's just so powerful that you know she's never gonna show up in the MCU again because she's just too powerful. Now, I don't know if Talbot is, I mean, this seems, I, I mean, we've seen Wanda, never mind. Okay, Wanda is way too powerful. But still, whenever, like, someone gets that powered up and it's such a changed character, it just makes me feel like they're not going to stick around. But we still got Daisy, Scarlet Witch stuck around for so long. Captain Marvel, like, never mind, you know. But the the, the thing that makes it different with him I'll say is that he's got those voices in his head most likely, so it just seems like he could very easily go crazy or never be around his family again because he's too much of a risk. Man, upon a rewatch, just like seeing how far some of these characters go, seeing Talbot on screen must be kind of crazy because he's just like this military soldier. You don't even like him at the beginning. He's like angry at S.H.I.E.L.D. all the time. And he remains that way for a lot of the time, but he, he has a lot of fun moments back and forth with, with Coulson and everything. Seems to hate Inhumans, uh, follows the Sokovia Accords, all that stuff. Just to know, upon a rewatch, that he becomes this thing in the future. What a huge character leap right there. From a military soldier to potentially being the one that now destroys the Earth with his powers and stops an alien invasion all by himself. Crazy. In some ways, you know, Hydra and S.H.I.E.L.D. actually did team up here to stop the alien invasion. If it is about to be stopped, we use the Hydra Tech, the big the machine. Shield got the Gravitonium, created the most unstoppable super soldier, the destroyer of worlds. Who's going to give him a superhero name? I don't know. I think Talbot will give himself one. Or Coulson. I hope the news gets good coverage of him going up there and stopping the alien invasion. I want his son to see it on the news because I feel like he might die up there. I don't know. But, yeah, man, Robin did say she drew him multiple times, so. Wait, there was that picture. What was that one picture? 
big guy with all the little guys on top. I don't know. Maybe that was Talbot. Maybe big guy Talbot with all the little people in his head. I don't know. Anyways, though, that is it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We got three left in the season. Um, I don't know. I might put the last two together. Maybe. If I have time. I might not. But it's something I want to do. But I just don't know. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, subscribe. Leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the episode down below. What do you think about this episode? Let me know down below in the comments. And I will see you guys next week.